Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we'll look how to create God rays and uh, one of the best way to do it is have a nice scenery. And let's go ahead and create our fields. So we'll go ahead create new terrain, edit object, we'll go reset and just click on the peaks. So next what we're going to do, I want to stretch this. So this will be our first one. So you know what, let's say camera move a little bit above so we kind of like overview almost a valley. So here is our first one. Let's create another one. A we'll little bit increase in size. Edit object, we'll do same thing, reset and peaks. And we'll scratch more this way. Okay, let's duplicate it, this one. Okay, let's create another one. So what I'm doing, it's like slices of the mountains, of the hills. So when you look from above, you'll see them kind of stretching. And with God rays, this will look very nice with all those hills and lighting going through all of them. So we'll go here. Edit object, peaks, and we'll stretch this one. And you know what? Maybe just one more on a background. So we'll create this and we'll stretch this all places. Right click, edit object, reset, peaks. So let's go ahead and render to screen. And that was 640, so let's render it and see. Here we have it, a very nice kind of dune mountains looking. So let's select all of terrain. I'll just assign some material. We'll go to landscapes. And we can pick um, vegetation and rocks maybe. Let's see how that will look. So it does have a that's nice deep. So maybe even, you know, soft dunes will provide better for us. Yeah, let's look more interesting this way. So let's go next to add, work on our lights. So we'll go Atmosphere, Atmosphere Editor. And a couple of things we'll go, go to do, we add clouds. And I just want to create low clouds for this. Okay, next we increase coverage. Okay, also let's go take our sun and move just right here. So we have it like lights going through. Okay, let's go back to our atmosphere editor. So we set right here opacity, maybe just slightly decreasing. Sky, let's go ahead and um, enable God rays and volumetric material. Okay. Okay, so we'll do, go ahead and do a couple things here. Okay, so we'll increase. Um, height. So we have it, the higher it is, sometimes it's better the longer strikes we can see from the God rays. Okay, cover maybe just decrease slightly. So we have it more opening, you can see already more kind of hole the lights can go through. Okay, we go ahead and um, make our sure our density of 100%. We want to catch your lights as much as possible. We'll leave about opacity here and um, just maybe more on ambient light, just slightly. So it's going through. A um, couple of things. I want to increase Corona. And the reason is why, because I want to give it a little bit better lighting just around um, overall scenery. So we'll go in the lights. And lights would be one. We actually want to increase our brightness because we have a uh, kind of clouds covering with brightness it's giving us more in a light structuring okay now so let's go move more towards our light balance to the sunlight on this okay um one thing what i want to do i want to switch sun just leave it behind and one interesting things with the sun when we create this way the God rays, they're actually better visible when the sun almost in your face and it's going a little bit down. If you look um, 
the sun position on the back you won't see that great uh, lights and it's best observed if you go into some smoky room and you see where's the light the lights which facing you can almost can see beam from them better than lights that faced away from you so in this case it will be kind of almost similar here in some case so we'll set sub setup lights right there let's go to continue editing our atmosphere okay we we'll go to sky fog and haze just one slightly readjust some options here so we have it a bit more on the this one right there let's pop up sky a little bit higher okay we'll go ahead and bring fog a little higher all the way so with the fog yeah one nice thing about this fog will bring more lights you can see it so if you want it you can go ahead and just type even more in your value okay so we'll give it one for now the glow intensity it's maybe a little bit too much so we'll just go decrease a little bit here and aerial perspective which is give it us haze and distance and again we'll increase maybe a little bit after this the um, quality boost for now I just want to keep it here so for the preview okay, let's click go ahead and click preview and you can see right here we already can see this sun light beams going through the sky on our terrain because probably one decrease some of the work a little bit more on the clouds at this point so let's go ahead and make them smaller so we have it more openings between them okay we have it about altitude this one cover you know what it's about right but let's go increase opacity and lighting you know what I like to do it is take ambient and bring a little bit down it's give it us more contrast so we can see a little bit better the light beams going through okay this is looking about right okay so we go sky fog and what well, maybe just increase a little bit of decay make it look a little bit yellowish we'll go to the clouds now and you know what 20 probably enough give it us lights yeah, let me click there you go the render with our ambient light and again if you want it you can just make it lighter a little bit so it won't be that dark but again in the dark you can notice we have a much better lighting okay let me pop up a little bit brightness better for our god rays and i think we're actually ready to render our image preview okay and we can see how lights actually going very nice we have nice guard rays and it very nice clean on our terrain as well so we can go ahead and act, go inside the clouds and animate our clouds velocity and change and so when you start rendering animations you have a very nice um guard rays going over the kind of terrain and it will look very real so let's go ahead and switch to final and let's go render our final image for this project okay so here is our final image and you can see how with the guard rays we have a visible um, display thank you for watching this tutorial from Geekerplay Studio please come visit us on the web as www.geekerplay.com